abridged version of the Sausage Sellers monologue from the Internet Classics Archive English translation of Aristophanes' The Knights. From here, I rushed straight to the Senate, right in the track of this man. He was already letting loose the storm, unchaining the lightning, crushing the knights beneath huge mountains of calumnies heaped together, and having all the air of truth. He called you conspirators, and his lies caught root like weeds in every mind. Dark were the looks on every side, and brows were knitted. When I saw that the Senate listened to him favorably, and was being tricked by his imposture, I said to myself, Come, gods of rascals and braggarts, gods of all fools and toad eaters, and thou too, O marketplace, wherein I was bred from my earliest days, give me unbridled audacity, an untiring chatter, and a shameless voice. what happened. That's enough. There are monarchs in Castile who will establish the rule of law and wipe away this anarchy. When they have some respite from war, they will do well to rid their towns and villages of men like you, who terrorize the people and who seem to believe that they can behave with impunity because they bear a holy red cross on their chest. Honorable farmers and friends, I stand before you, an old man whose white beard is wet with tears, to ask what funeral rites can be spoken over the rotting corpse of our once dear town. Such sacred words demand an honorable voice and who amongst us can still lay claim to that? Is there a man in this room whose dignity has escaped unscathed? Look around you, council members, there is no one here that man has not disgraced. We share the same suffering the same enemy. We have endured enough. What have we left to fear?
Mother, hear me while I speak, for I see that thou art wroth with thy husband to no purpose. Tis hard for us to persist in impossibilities. Our thanks are due to this stranger for his ready help, but thou must also see to it that he is not reproached by the army, leaving us no better off and himself in trouble. Listen, mother. Hear are the thoughts which have passed across my mind. I am resolved to die. And this I fain would do with honor, dismissing from me what is mean. On me the passage or the sea depends. On me the sack of Troy, and in my power it lies to check henceforth barbarian raids on happy Hellas. This is my enduring moment. Marriage, motherhood, fame, all these is it to me. And it is but right, mother, that Hellenists should rule barbarians, but not barbarians, Hellenists. Those being slaves, while these are free. Mm -hmm.